Hi, this is Joe with Princess Jana Farms. Today in Oregon, it's a beautiful winter day, about 60 degrees, lightly raining. It's a good day for making beer for the cows. I've had several questions as to how we do this, so I thought you might uh, see some of the process. I use a fairly traditional recipe with my own slight modifications. I'm going to put some two-row barley as well as some oat. We're going to steep them in hot water to make wort, boil that for a little bit, and then add some yeast, and in a little bit of time we'll have some beer. Here we've got a collection of some of the grain we're going to use. This is two-row barley mixed with oat. It's ground up and you put it into a mash tun. For the brewers out there, I'll apologize in advance. I'm quite likely going to mix up my terms as I go along. But we're going to soak the cracked grains, get the sugars off them, and we'll turn that into wort, which will then later become beer. So the next step is to uh, take the barley and the oats and soak and toast them. Not really a, a mandatory step, just something I think that really adds to the, the flavor of the beer. And if you're going to go to the effort, why not you know, go all the way? After uh, soaking the grains for an hour, then I toast them for an additional hour at 350 degrees. This is just a, a small portion of the total grains that are going into the beer. So here's our toasted barley and oats fresh out of the oven. Should add a nice complexity to the flavor of our beer. We'll take it over, grind it up, get it added to our mash tun, and start making some wort, which will then lead to beer. Once we've selected our grains, and in this case we've toasted some of them, we add them to the grain mill where we crush them, which gets them ready to be prepared for the wort tun. After we grind up our grain, we're going to add it to the uh, mash tun. This is the one that I've created. It's simply a, a large cooler inside. I've put a PEX tube um, with some holes in it to act as a sieve, a filter of sorts. We add hot water and our grains to it, and that starts releasing the fermentable sugars that end up making beer. Once we've put in the water, we add on the grain, stir it up to avoid any clumping, let it sit for an hour, and that'll end up being our wort. So this is the liquid that's formed by the addition of the hot water to the grains. Now it's wort. This is the stuff that can make beer. There's one more step where we're going to put this to boil. We're going to add in some hops, and the hops have apparently a preservative quality. Again, the brewers who are watching this can speak to that more than I can. But they add a variety of uh, flavors to include bitterness, aromas that to me are slightly flowery. They uh, really contribute to a beer quite a bit. Not necessary, perhaps, when you're making it for cows, but I like to think that my cows are enough of a gourmet that they like a really good beer. So it's nearing the end of the day. The wort has been on the boil. Hops have been added in. To finish up though, what I'm going to do is add some extract. This is commercially produced. It's the uh, fermentable sugars from grains, but it has all different types. This is a stout extract, so I add a little bit just to round off things since I didn't use a bunch of specialty grains into my mixture. Again, just really trying to make that well-rounded beer that my cows enjoy. After a few weeks in the primary fermenter, I place the uh, beer into a secondary fermenter. I find the cows don't like uh, a yeasty flavor, and so getting rid of a lot of that initial yeast cake seems to improve the quality and their enjoyability of it. I think it improves the flavor as well. And of course, it's nice to taste test and see how our first fermentation is going. It's got a good brown color. It's cloudier than what you're used to at home because it's still got the active yeast in it, which doesn't tend to affect the uh, feeling in the mouth, but just something people who buy bottled beer aren't used to. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice. Gonna start with a bit of sweetness, and then the hops come in, rounding out the flavor, just a touch of bitterness at the end. That's a good beer. So, the ground some rain. So good. Got some more. Fermented it. Put it into secondary fermenters after a few weeks. This is sad for a little bit more time for doing secondary fermentation. That usually results in a little bit more complex flavor for the cows. Princess Jonna Farms working to bring you fantastic beef. Subscribe on YouTube to see more videos, like us on Facebook, look for our meat packages on eBay.